Trauma can occur when a person has a frightening experience, where they feel they have no control and their lives are in danger, such as during a car crash. We may be more likely to be traumatized when we witness or experience harm by another person through verbal, sexual, physical harassment or violence. This can affect all of our interpersonal relationships. To understand a person's response to violence, we need to consider their past experiences and culture. Different people will experience trauma in different ways due to normal reactions in the brain. One of the brain's main jobs is to keep us safe, to scan our environment and react to threats and danger. What we all have in common is that the thinking brain, which deals with thoughts, planning and communication, is usually in charge. If the brain senses danger and sets off an alarm, then the emotional part of the brain takes over for protection and survival. We share this alarm system with animals. Common reactions are fight, flight, freeze, flop or friend as their body and brain goes into survival mode. Stress hormones flood the system, heightening the senses and affecting the ability to take in information, motion and memory. After a traumatic event like sexual or family violence, the brain may replay a jumble of thoughts, feelings and sensations as it tries to find meaning and make sense of what happened. People can have a range of feelings and the impacts on the brain can make it hard to reach out for support. Even if they can share their experience, feelings of shame and confusion can make it hard to talk about sexual violence. These feelings can be influenced by a person's history of trauma, culture, language and community, and are normal reactions to an abnormal situation. Reaching out for support and avoiding isolation is important. Talking and connection can both help. Identifying ways a person can feel safe, secure, supported and connected helps the nervous system relax become calm and starts their healing journey.